all right welcome back to the channel yesterday we were dealing with a couple of things uh, where we were removing all these different menu items uh, using a plugin and today I'm going to talk about how to clean up your dashboard so we have a number of these widgets that are located whenever we log in into uh, WordPress or Classic Press and we find that this can be confusing even for our customer that we give our website so today we are going to have them uh, removed from our control panel so um, I went to the WordPress codex site which is a codex.wordpress.org and there is what we call the dashboard widgets API and with this um, we are able to create new uh, widgets of our own and then we are able to add a couple of different widgets to do different things generally so there is one thing that is key here is that you have to have a widget ID and that's how you add a widget uh, item however you can also uh, remove the dashboard uh, widgets by using the remove meta box and then you add this is the ID of that widget and where it's located and uh, whether it has a, a, a particular location uh, and you can remove this by using the remove meta box and then by adding the the I, the, the address you add the ID of that particular widget so what we're going to do is I'm just going to copy all this code right here and then I'll drop it in our editor so this was the code we used to remove particular menu items actually if we look in our in our dashboard if I we had restricted this to the editor <laughs> so I'm going to add this and what it does here is that it's adding an action whereby if uh, we initialize the admin section we are going to run this function which is called remove dashboard meta and it will remove the different meta boxes that are with these particular uh, IDs so let me quickly run let me quickly run to to, to our dashboard and you'll see if we right click here and then go to inspect uh, we are able to see the particular IDs of these boxes so I'll just go all the way up we'll see that this this section is called our dashboard widgets but we have this particular widget which is called a dashboard right now with the ID if we go to this we have dashboard activity which is this uh, then we have the others that keep on coming down like uh, we have also dashboard underscore petitions and this is only found in a uh, classic press it's not in WordPress because this is how classic press uh, shares what they are doing or how they're getting people to vote in what features should be on their particular our core of our classic press so what we're going to do is go back to our editor and save this when we save this and then reload our page here in our video section we'll see that uh, we only have two widgets that are left here because these are not by default part of uh, uh, WordPress so we need to find their particular idea uh, IDs we need to find the particular ID so we saw this one earlier was called a dashboard underscore petitions so I'm also going to look for this one which is for WordFence and when we go to WordFence is a security plugin that I install on almost all my 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 my, my installs of classic press or WordPress and we'll find that its ID is WordFence underscore activity report so what we're going to do here is I'm going to edit this so that I can just copy this without error so I'm going to copy it come back in uh, my code and then I'll duplicate this and just change the name of this and save if I reload my admin area you'll see that actually that goes away it's no longer killing me and I can do the same for this classic press item and I'll just go for dashboard petition and when I save this and then reload here uh, we'll see that it also goes so we have a clean dashboard uh, all here so I can imagine where we have a number of the, uh, these items going away so let me just remove a couple of things too uh, let me just comment this out here uh, and then save and we'll see so we'll look at the posts we'll look at the tools and settings because those are the items we took out and when we reload this is becoming a lot cleaner and easier to use so if I want I can also remove uh, these users and make it a lot cleaner 
you guys and reload so we are able to see that this dashboard is becoming cleaner so I'll just clean out the rest of the things so that we see how this looks like yeah so once we save uh, this particular uh, things that we've put in here when we go back and reload our web page here you see that it's becoming a lot cleaner and nicer so the only things that are left to remove would be maybe these security features and we can have we can always have uh, if I just go to the dashboard um, I'll be able to find a clean dashboard I'll be able to find all these different pages so I can use this space it's looking a lot cleaner I can use this as a custom software if need be so thank you for watching if you love the video please uh, share it with the other people uh, subscribe to the channel and don't forget to hit that notification bell whenever new videos are out so enjoy your coding and enjoy using your CMS in its cleaning.